for another topic in imperfect competition. Suppose we have a completely linear demand curve. And now I, I realize when we were talking about perfect competition, we had linear demand curves. They were horizontal, but I'm not talking about horizontal demand curves. I'm talking about imperfect competition and demand curves that are completely linear, so they look like the demand curve that is shown in the upper graph. We want to investigate some aspects of marginal revenue and elasticity when you have linear demand curves. It's clear that at Q equals zero, total revenue is zero. And when the demand curve hits the quantity axis again, total revenue is also zero. So those two points on the total revenue curve are obvious. It turns out that, and it's pretty intuitive that the total revenue curve has this kind of general shape. It turns out that it's a perfect parabola. It's a quadratic equation. And I'll prove that at the end for those of you who are interested, but I'm not going to ask anything about that on an exam. Next, recall what we learned in the previous video that marginal revenue being greater than zero was corresponding to an elastic portion of the demand curve and marginal revenue less than zero, an inelastic portion of the demand curve. Clearly, this part of the total revenue curve, marginal revenue is positive because total revenue is going up. You know, clearly, the tangent lines have a positive slope. And so we can conclude that since you have positive marginal revenue, this area has to be elastic. In other words, this part of the linear demand curve is elastic. This part, total revenue is falling marginal revenue therefore is negative of course slopes of the tangent lines are and you have negative slope of the tangent lines so marginal revenue is negative and this says that if marginal revenue is negative then you have inelastic demand so here You have inelastic demand. And it turns out that right in the middle, the elasticity of demand is exactly equal to negative 1. That's the boundary point between elastic and inelastic demand. Now, we don't have a special name for that. Uh, you could call it uh, the demand has unitary elasticity. Okay, but uh, unitary just means one, or in this case, negative one, so that's not really saying much. It can be shown that not only is the marginal revenue curve positive on this part and negative on this part, but it has a very particular shape. Clearly, if I want to draw in the marginal revenue curve, I'm it's the marginal revenue curve is going to have to be zero here because that's where marginal revenue changes from positive to negative. It's got to be positive to the left of that point and it's going to be negative to the right of that point. It turns out one can show that, again with math that you don't have to know, that the marginal revenue curve is going to look as follows. In other words, for a linear demand curve, It turns out that the marginal revenue curve is also a straight line. It hits the q-axis half halfway between zero and where the demand curve hits the q-axis, which means it has exactly twice the slope. 
So for a completely linear demand curve, the marginal revenue curve has the same intercept as the demand curve and twice the slope. So marginal revenue has the same p-intercept as the demand curve. and twice the slope of the demand curve. That actually can't be proven without calculus, so you're not responsible for knowing that proof. This is one of the few times in this class when I tell you something which, uh, which you have to take on faith. There are a few problems from the textbook and old exams which require you to know how to draw the marginal revenue curve if I give you a linear demand curve. And so that's why I'm telling you this. For those of you who are interested in the calculus-based proof, here we go. A linear demand curve has a form P equals AQ plus B, where A is the slope and B is the vertical intercept. Multiply both sides by Q. Get PQ equals AQ squared plus BQ. PQ, of course, price times quantity, is total revenue. So that is the proof that total revenue is quadratic. So, so the graph has a parabola as I drew in the bottom. Take the derivative of total revenue with respect to Q. By definition, that's marginal revenue. Taking the derivative of the right hand side, you get 2aq plus b. That is what I wanted to prove. The demand curve has the form aq plus b. The marginal revenue curve has the form 2aq plus b. So the marginal revenue curve has twice the slope of the demand curve and the same intercept. And that's what I claimed over here. So that's the proof.